study this one. He's nine years old, and he's he just in this last year he's been telling us all of his secrets, mostly about being a combat medic in World War II. Never talked about it. Now he's telling them. It's amazing. But recently he told my wife and I said, well, you know, I'm going to tell you guys this secret. It was a family secret. From you guys were alone with this. That's where I grew up, along with Corvallis. And my, my parents lived, uh, my dad lived his uh, family southwest of Paloma, out in the woods. And they had just arrived during World War II from their homestead in North Dakota. So they had no perspective on the local flora and fauna. And so uh, they had this place right there, and his oldest brother bought this other acreage near it. And, he, and, and my dad just told us this. He said, we had these really huge apes. He, he said they smelled really bad. We didn't know what to call them. Uh, and and they, they were terrified. My grandmother, I remember she would never go up on the hill without a pitchfork. And then he said, well, that's the reason. She was terrified of them. But my uncle would go on to this high place and he would watch them foraging and migrating through. And he would hold perfectly still and he said he could smell them forever. And they were terrible. And they would just watch them. And they made a, an agreement between themselves and a few of their neighbors. They would never tell anybody because they didn't want people coming out and mixing bullets and beer, and they did not want any government involvement, so.